This is the field spectrometer. Uh, this machine mainly measures the reflectance uh, value of the objects. These are the most of them is the rock uh, units and rock parts. This machine I won't explain uh, shortly. This machine mainly it contains one unique part and uh, that part have some ports. Uh, these two ports are led about the power supply and one of the other port is a parallel port connection of the computer uh, and uh, by using that computer we can measure the any kind of measurements and then we uh, obtain the spectral curves of the uh, objects and another part is the maybe the most important apparatus of that machine. This is the fiber optic cable and these apparatus uh, use their own lights and in, uh, inside that apparat have their own power source and when you connect to that apparat onto some uh, objects and then reflectance value of the that objects uh, re received by that cable and going onto the machine the main uh, principles of that machine is to measure the reflectance value and then analyze that value onto by using the computer some special softwares. This is the one of the interface of uh, we use that software. These are uh, produced uh, by analytical sp uh, spectral device company. This is the ACD company. These are the main softwares. This is the spectral uh, mineral library of that software. During that analysis, we mainly that machine mainly use points uh, four micrometer to two point five micrometer. This means that uh, uh, visible range and uh, near infrared range and then infrared range. First, I want to show you the calibration of that machine. This is our white reference, and we turn off the lights and we put there is no any uh, light externally and we go to that program click to white reference this program starts to calibrate the white reference if perfectly calibrate this line uh, seems to be linear like that it's the nearly calibrated and then we click again and wait to calibration this calibration is required to start measurement this is because the correct measurement it depends on the white reference. Each time uh, we must perform the white reference calculation, white reference uh, using, and then we obtain the perfect linear 100% reflectance. Uh, we can call it 1.0 and linear line, and then we start to measure after that. Okay, it's approximately linear that line this is the this axis this axis shows us wavelength nanometer in nanometer I mean that 0.4 to 2.5 micrometer or 4 
hundred nanometer to two thousand and uh, two thousand five hundred nanometer. This means that visible range, near infrared range, and infrared portion. And the y-axis shows us the reflectance value. This is the hundred percent. White reference means that a hundred percent reflectance. And then the other reflectance value as putting on that program like that and after that we can start to measure for example that kind of prax these are different kind of prax and different color you just see the just see the only visible portion of that rock but the spectrometer measures the different kind of properties different kind of reflectance value of that rock firstly I want to start that one first we found planar surface and then take measurements this is the spectral curvature of the spectral characteristic of that rock the most important part of that measurement is the that absorbance value this is the visible portion this is the near infrared and then this is the infrared portion as you can see there was a, some peak in visible region this is yellow when you look at the rock it's also yellowish color and then after that we can store that measurement and also we can save by using menu and spectrum save we can give any kind of name inside that one folder let's say test and also base name let's say T1 okay it starts to save each time when we click or uh, hit the spacebar that kind of spectral spectral characteristic curve saved onto computer and also we can take another portion on the same rack and we can save during that measurement most of the characteristics of that rack same rack approximately the same just on the reflectance value uh, changed little bit this is because of the roughness of the dead rock and also uh, fractures of the rock but the uh, uh, characteristic curve of that uh, object that rock uh, approximately the same the absorbance value and reflectance value uh, almost the same and uh, we can save uh, all measurements of that track or any kind of samples let's check it the another one and we, we need to again write reference this is because there was some dust on the glass
wait for the calibration if we obtain the smooth linear curve on 1.0 reflectance white reference finished means okay it's almost okay we we'll wait to calibration and then we we'll pass to another track let's say that one we we'll put like that and open the lights and wait for the measurements and after the white reference applying and we measure the another rock the reddish and also and look at the characteristic curve of that rock are different by using spacebar save this is the most important part these are mean the most important this is the absorbance value when you uh, remember the when you look at the visible range uh, point point four micrometer is the blue 0.5 approximately green 0.7 approximately red so this uh, rock seems to be reddish then in visible range that is the peak this means the red these are the visible range so but we not deal with we already know by looking at the rock these are the unknown part to human being so this is the most important part of the that characteristic of the rack and we can take another measurement of that rack mostly we want to take smooth surface of that rack and when you look at the when you look at the curve, characteristic curve of that rock, it's approximately the same as the previous one. There was the same range, same absorbance value, seems to be. And also we can say. And also we can perform the measurements of different kind of units when you look at the that curve that's the characteristic of that rock this is the different value and the shape are different after that kind of measurements we all we obtain different kind of rock units and also different kind of uh, characteristic curves that program uh, allows to compare that kind of uh, comparison characteristic curvature of the that rock to uh, USGS library or SII library this means the Spectral International uh, Incorporation company uh, prepare some kind of uh, library to checking the unknown material to known material. We can use the other program to compare the spectral characteristic curve of that rock units. We use SII program. This program allows to us comparison of the spectral curvature of the materials to into a library, spectral library. 
this library uh, mainly USGS or other kind of company and also ASDN has ASD as uh, some library when we click the one of the our sample during the measurements during the measurements we mainly collect seven samples and uh, first sample characteristic curvature like that you can see this is the most important part this absorbance value and when we click the data search database search we can look at the any kind of search results this is the most accurate one we click the attach to adding the another box and also we can search other values for example we can add another one for example that one is ASTN library from ASTN library we can choose the best match or we can choose the wavelength region like that as you can see and we can check the search database according to that wavelength region for example that one we can check that region also another region another absorbance value when we click the search results and then mineral data a kind of mineral and name chemical formula and other uh, attributes we can see for example that one is Jerusalem. like that let's check the another example and when we click the unmix button we can see the proportions of the similarity look at that this is the illite and this is the gerocyte and this is the uh, corresponding ratio of that yeah. basically that kind of programs used to define the uh, reflectance value uh, you know the remote sensing used the uh, one source and passive sensors one source and uh, reflecting reflected uh, wavelengths uh, remote sensing may not deal with that kind of analysis that spectrometer used for the defining the unknown object or to characteristic to set up the characteristic curve of that object and we can compare that kind of things uh, by using uh, average data to measure effective usage and uh, that's all to introduction to